Hello, this is a quick video on the Comma Body released by Comma AI recently. So if you haven't heard of Comma AI, they are a company that make uh, self-driving cars. Well, more specifically, they make a device that you can put in your existing car uh, and make it self-driving. So it started off as a project with a, basically a mobile phone and um, then a connector to your car. So um, they make this device, uh, the latest version is called the Comma 3 and you put it in your car, it runs open pilot and you can use it to turn your car into a self-driving car and one you've got to manage. So level 2 they call it. So it'll drive your car but you obviously got to man monitor it and make sure it, it doesn't do anything crazy but uh, it's pretty amazing for, for the price tag. I think uh, I think it cost about $3,000, $2,000 you can turn your car into a self-driving car and get a similar experience in some ways to, to, to Tesla and they uh, run OpenPilot which is an open source software um, they have a, a, a big community that support them and, and test out their software and uh, it looks as though it's getting pretty pretty good it looks as though it's getting better over time adding more uh, features and, and getting better and basically they've stuck this comma on the top of a stick that's on a, a hoverboard and made like a what well, they've called a, a comma body so this is a it looks like a nod towards the Tesla bot which uh, was this kind of ridiculous thing that Tesla brought out re recently well didn't bring it out they said that they're gonna make a bot that can replicate a human within the end of the year or the, the end of this year I think which is kind of ridiculous but uh, I'm glad uh, people are working on these kind of robots because I think they're existing eventually but it, it'll take someone to to build and work on them but uh they the tesla seems to have offered the world with these things and uh, uh yeah we haven't really seen anything concrete in fact uh the presentation that launched the, the tesla bot was a uh, was mostly a guy in a costume dancing which was uh i suppose a bit of fun but it it kind of just looks a bit ridiculous more than uh, <laughs> just uh, a bit ridiculous really for a, for a, for a product launch but uh, oh well um, so the comma body is like a sort of a simplified version of that use your existing comma AI on the top assuming you have one which costs uh, two or three thousand pound and then this costs another 999 on top I think let's check the price 999 for just a comma body and then you've got to add your own uh, comma 3 on the top that powers it so uh, pretty pricey but uh, be interesting what this thing can do uh, they, they actually had a demo of this in, in last year um, um, like a prototype clearly with the, the wires hanging off and so <laughs> the main structure is still taped to the, the um, to the hoverboard at the bottom and controlling it from a smartphone but I've really proved the concept that it could work and um, it could balance and you can drive it around you know this is going to be available as a, as a development kit in effect and you can adjust the software and try it out and test it and you know drive it around or make it uh, presumably make it drive around um, autonomously around a house or a off, uh, office or a, a warehouse or, or some open sp or indoor space uh, maybe as a security bot. I mean, this is the kind of thing that you give people the platform and then they build stuff with it or use it in in environments you aren't even expecting. And then the what it says on the on the website is uh, let's let's get this quote. We believe in order to solve AI, you must embed it in the real world. I mean, such a simple thing, but uh, I've seen so many quote AI companies that. Uh, you know, show you a nice video of a self-driving car going around a test track with no people in a, in, you know, in a funky YouTube uh, promotional video um, and they spent you know millions of dollars on on driving a car around a around a car park it's, it's not the real world and the sooner you get stuff into the real world the sooner you get real actual feedback and that's why uh, Tesla seems so successful in its uh, self-driving uh, software because it's being used on millions of cars in the real world with real world feedback and I think a lot of companies suffer from having these grand ideas and spending too long in the drawing room trying to optimize something that hasn't hit the real world yet you're like optimizing in your own head 
Um, it's the same way like uh, SpaceX is um, successfully making strides in aerospace by you know testing out in the real world they weren't afraid to blow up quite a few uh, rockets before they su succeeded I mean not that they were trying to blow them up but it's inevitable in the real world <laughs> when you're testing in the real world and what they're doing with the um, um, Starship is like virtually testing it in uh, in the real world testing it while people can basically watch over the fence at what's happening uh, of live streaming um, the development of rocket which is you know used to be like a an industry you'd never see from the outside um, so it'd be interesting who buys this uh, who, uh, if people buy this people test it out I mean comma has got a big uh, fan base so I imagine people who have already got the comma AI for a th few thousand pounds are going to be tempted to buy this body and test it out and it'll be interesting to see what this can do it looks as though it can't do too much but you know, you know uh, things start from 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 small beginnings and I can easily see this um, developed into a platform that can be used as a, as a security device imagine if you want something that can drive around your uh, your whole warehouse or a bigger area and you know, or you can tell it to do a route and check particular areas um, and automatically alert you based on on vision it's seeing um, or, or you can go and tell it to check out a particular area I mean the future of this they say is going to be adding what they call a knee <laughs> next year or this year end of this year and then possibly arms I think the the knee joints look pretty good it would, it would allow the device to sit down this is the, the going to be the next version so uh, maybe this device can sit down and get to different heights and then eventually <laughs> maybe it will have arms they say so you could actually um, uh, you know program it to pick things up or move things in the environment I think that's really when it will <laughs> it could become a, a valuable asset but uh, these things look ridiculous but if you actually see um, videos of them <laughs> wandering about they're kind of quite human like they've designed them on purpose to be you know a decent height they're not a little toy on the floor um, and when you look at them like I can't help but smile when I see one of these things I mean they may be ridiculous and uh, not in my budget personally <laughs> but <laughs> when you see them kind of hovering and because they kind of I don't know if they've been programmed to kind of move up and down a bit but it's kind of a great human or um animal like the way they kind of just sit there and uh, <laughs> and slowly move forward and backwards but uh, they're more fun than they uh, look this, this is the um, it's sit, it sitting down the next version which is going to be interesting but uh, if people buy them people use them people test them out that's why uh, um, things happen when you give them to uh, people in the real world and then you find out what something can be used for so that's the the comma body uh, from comma AI. Go to comma body com and uh, it runs autopilot, open source. You can play around, you can change it, you can hack it. Um, and yeah, well, I can't wait to see what people actually do with this. So yeah, go check it out and subscribe for updates. Boom. Thanks for watching. Bye.